Hello and welcome back to Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and we are here at day five of the Country Balls Tournament. And let's take a look at today's track. We have another slight variation from the last track. And of course, we have all the same teams from the last couple of videos all competing for the top crown. Here is the overall standings. Brazil in first place with nine points, one point ahead of Belgium in second with eight. And then a whole bunch of marbles in third place with seven points, all trying to get out of that tie and get up there into the top two spots. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, let's get going with the first race. Here's the practice system for today's event. First off, we have Vietnam versus Portugal. And they are off into this first parallel track into the Y they go. It's Vietnam in the lead as we go into the first staircase. Portugal only one step behind and they still have uh, a chance of passing Vietnam in this next section, which is the uh, half pipe section. Vietnam coming out still staying lead but here comes Portugal and they take a lead through that green labyrinth but Vietnam takes it right back as we go up the second staircase into the next half pipe section and there goes Vietnam into the green labyrinth here comes Portugal as well can Portugal retake the lead not in that uh, lane but there in that one Portugal back in the lead as we go into the next half pipe section in the final half pipe section of this track both taking the uh, left side and both taking the funnel section. And they're circling and circling who will exit first. I think it might be Vietnam. And yes, it will be a Vietnam. Portugal coming up close behind. And Vietnam was not far enough ahead from Portugal to get more than one point. Next up, we have Germany versus the USA. and they are off. We have Germany in the black with white and the USA with white and black, kind of an inverted color scheme from these two marbles. We go up the staircase, it's Germany in the lead, USA very close behind. Let's see what they can do in the half pipe section. Very quick for Germany there and the USA as well. And the USA is able to take the lead. Into the next staircase they go. The USA having trouble entering and Germany's gonna catch up and they may even be able to uh, pass here. And they do. Germany now in the lead. USA, a huge mistake there. Not able to enter quickly into that staircase. But they are able to take lead through the next half pipe section into the green labyrinth they go. Here comes Germany and a quick pass by them. And now they're already entering the final uh, half pipe section. The USA is running out of time to retake lead their neck and neck in this half pipe. Let's see which side they go down. They both go down the bottom section. Germany into the green labyrinth as well as for the USA. Can Germany get any more points than one? Let's see what the USA can do. Barely missing out on the win. The USA misses out. Germany with one point. Three seconds ahead of the USA. So close to that four second boundary to get two points but no cigar. Next up, we have Pakistan versus Argentina. And they are off, and they both go on the same side of this parallel track. And Argentina comes out to the lead. Pakistan very close behind once again. As we go into this next half-pipe section, Pakistan runs through it. Argentina now barely getting right next to Pakistan and they retake the lead. And there's an overtake by Pakistan in this staircase. Argentina very close behind though. It's a very close race. This track doesn't seem to be uh, a track that uh, Marble can easily get a large lead in because there are not very many funnels. But Argentina does have quite the lead in this final uh, half pipe section. Let's see if Pakistan can catch up here. Pakistan about to enter this green labyrinth. Let's see if they can catch up to Argentina before they exit this next half pipe. And they aren't able to. Argentina takes the labyrinth section. 
and Pakistan does as well because that bottom half or half pipe only goes to the green labyrinth. Only if you go all the way to the top will you go into that final section, which I would think would be slower if the other marble goes into the green labyrinth. Argentina finishes in first place, and they're definitely going to get at least two points, if not more. Let's see what happens as Pakistan finally uh, finishes the race. Ten seconds ahead, so that's three points for Argentina. Next up, we have England versus Japan. And they are off. England in the lead at this point. Here comes Japan. Will they be able to overtake on the staircase? No, but they're sharing stairs. And that's the farthest we've seen two marble share stairs. I don't think it's possible for them to go all the way up. But Japan was the one who lost out on that one. Now they're in the lead into the screen lab. And here comes England. They overtake for the lead. Here comes Japan right back, though, and they take it. And now they're both on this bottom staircase, sharing stairs once again. England this time is the one who falls short in, uh, in Japan. And England now both in these half pipes once again. And they both exit at the same time. Japan comes out with the lead into this final half pipe section. Can England make any moves? Depends on when they enter. See how they entered and now they're in sync. That causes them to both have a harder time exiting the half pipe. And if they enter when the other marble is going the opposite direction, that is when some trouble can happen. And Japan looks like they're going to be able to stall. And England will be getting the full four points. Because Japan will DNF. The first DNF of the day. Unfortunate for them. And that's the highest score we've seen out of the matches we've seen so far. England with four. Let's see if Spain or Mexico can top that off. And they are off. It's Mexico who looks like they're in the lead. Yes, they are. As we go to the staircase, Spain close behind. It's all about how you use these half pipes to your advantage. A good move by Mexico there. Quick through those half pipes. Spain not so much, having a harder time getting through just the first half pipe. Mexico already entering the next staircase. And Mexico actually has a significant lead over Spain. Even though there are very few funnels, only one at the very end of the track. And Mexico is doing a great job at holding this lead, but they're losing it quickly unless they get out. Yes, they do right there. Now they're in the green labyrinth. Let's see if Spain can catch up. Mexico trying to stay one step ahead of Spain. Here comes Spain, contact, and Spain takes the lead there. And Mexico be able to get out of that half pipe now in the green labyrinth. Let's see if Spain can catch up. I don't think they're going to be able to. They're still stuck, and Mexico is making their way down, almost about to finish. And there goes Spain. But no cigar. Mexico comes out with the win. Spain. Now coming out, and they DNF at the last turn. And that gives Mexico four points, just like we saw England in the last match. Next up, we have Brazil versus India. And they are off. Brazil takes the lead in the parallel tracks, but here comes India, and they take the lead into this first staircase. Can Brazil overtake through these half pipes? Not looking like it. India already about to exit this first mini labyrinth. And they have a hard time entering that first staircase. And now Brazil trying to get out of this uh, labyrinth still. And India has gained quite a lead, but unless they get out of this half pipe soon, Brazil will be neck neck with them once again. They barely dodged Brazil's hit, and now entering another green labyrinth. Brazil trying to come out and catch up, but they're having a hard time getting out of these uh, half pipes. The half pipes are similar to funnels, in that if you do them incorrectly, it's, it takes a very long time to get out of their grasp. India trying to get out before Brazil comes. Will they be able to do it? Yes, they do. Very close. Let's see if India takes the funnel section. No, they don't. Into the green 
larger labyrinth for them. Brazil still stuck in this half pipe. Let's see what they do in this next half pipe. And so they're going in the labyrinth. Here they go, trying to catch up to India. India is stuck. Let's see if Brazil dislodges them. And yes, they do. India retakes the lead. Here comes Brazil, and Brazil takes it at the last second. 1.4 Brazil, 0.51 seconds ahead of India. A very close match and unfortunate for India, the leaders of almost the entire race. It was that one fatal mistake at the very end of the track where they got stuck that caused them to win. Next up we have Russia versus Canada. And Russia takes the lead into the first staircase. Canada close behind like we've seen in very many other uh, rounds in this event. Russia comes out into the half pipe first. Here comes Canada and they overtake the lead there. There goes Canada into the green labyrinth. We get a close-up view. Where is Russia? Here they come. Let's see if they can catch up to Canada. No, they don't. Canada goes up into the next staircase section. Russia still lagging behind. Now Russia entering the green staircase. Canada already into the second uh, half-pipe section of this section number three. And now Russia neck and neck, but there goes Canada right back. Canada about to enter half pipe section number four. Can Russia catch up? And they do, and they do that technique where they hit the marble opposite direction that they were traveling, and that caused both of them to exit quicker. And Canada was able to come out first. Russia running out of time to overtake Canada, but Canada gets stuck like we saw in the last round, and Russia takes the lead, and they get the one point there. Another fatal mistake by Canada, like we saw by India in the last race. Next up, we have Cameroon versus Korea. And they are off. Who comes out to the lead? It's Korea being followed very closely by Cameroon up into this first staircase. Let's see what Cameroon can do as we go into this next half pipe section. Can they overtake Korea? Korea does a good job getting out of that first half pipe. And so does Cameroon into the second half pipe for both of them who can exit first. It will be Korea into this green labyrinth. And they were quick through that first section. Here comes Cameroon as well. Korea entering the staircase. Cameroon still stuck in the green maze. And Korea already into half pipe section number three. Here comes Cameroon, but look how far ahead Korea is. Almost in the half pipe section number four. We may have all four points for Korea in this one. Unless they just stay in these half pipes for way too long but they exit that first one and now the second one they're in the final green maze can they exit before Cameroon catches up it's looking like it Cameroon taking the long way through these half pipes Korea in the final straight and they are able to take this win and let's see how far ahead they were from Cameroon where is Cameroon they fell off the track underneath the track even and we'll have a DNF that's a guaranteed four points for Korea. And that's the first time we've seen Marvel fall off in this tournament. Next up, we have the Philippines versus Indonesia. And they are off. Indonesia, the white with black and red. And the Philippines, the white with red, blue, and yellow. It is the Philippines in the lead as we enter the first half pipe section. And they're able to hold the lead there, but here comes the uh, Indonesia right back. Can they take the lead? They're having a hard time getting out of this leveled system of labyrinth, and they are able to pass there, though. And they take two steps ahead of the Philippines. Into the next uh, half pipes they go. Neck and neck on different half pipes who can exit first. And it will be Indonesia, but Philippines coming up close behind. And they overtake there. And how these labyrinths works, it's kind of different levels. 
and you have to really slow down in order for gravity to take over and get you into the next level. And look at that, we have two different lanes. We have the Philippines in the funnel, Indonesia in the labyrinth. Indonesia looks to be in the lead, and yes, they are. The labyrinth seems to be the faster way to go. The Philippines learned that the hard way. And that'll be two points for Indonesia because of the time difference. Now for the final match of the day, we have Senegal versus Belgium. And they are off. Who comes out to the lead this time? They're neck and neck, but it is Belgium who comes out one step ahead. Can Port uh, Senegal take the lead? No. And now they're two steps behind Belgium. They almost had an overtake on the bottom of that staircase. Belgium shoved them out of the way. And Belgium already into this green labyrinth. Can Senegal come back? They're having a hard time getting out of the first half pipe. Now through the second they almost have an opportunity there, but Belgium is able to take it. Belgium still two steps ahead, and now they're both in separate half pipes. Who will come out first this time? It's Senegal who takes the lead, almost already to the second half or the last half pipe section. And Belgium needs to catch up, and there they do, there they go. They overtake there and go into the green labyrinth. Let's see if they can hold the lead. It looks like Senegal is having a really hard time getting out of this final half pipe section. Belgium is running away with the win. It will be Belgium, the final winner of the day. And let's see what Senegal can do. My bet is that Belgium will get either three or four points. And the longer we go, the more likely they'll get four points. Senegal just now barely finishing. And Belgium will get the four points. 16 seconds ahead of Senegal. And now we're done with all the matches for this video. We get to look at the final standings after this video and see if Brazil still in the lead. Brazil still in the lead with 12 points. Russia and Vietnam tied for second with 10 points. And then we have another very large tie for third or fourth with nine points. Senegal, Argentina, Germany, Korea and Indonesia all in that nine points place. Belgium down there in eight. So Brazil holding the lead yet still. And as we go further and further, it will get harder and harder for them to hold that lead. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more country ball tournament videos here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. And I'll see you in the next video.